Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is 4 and 3 Sports Talk, and I'm your host, Rahim Escalade. Sitting with me today is a young man that plays a quarterback position very masterfully. A top five quarterback at his level in the country. He consistently makes safeties that stare into the backfield pay from Downers Grove, Illinois, quarterback Owen Lansu. Welcome to the show, Owen. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Most definitely. I can't stress enough how talented you are at the quarterback position. Where did that love of the game come from? Well, I first started playing in kindergarten and I played up on a, a second grade team. So I was two years younger than everybody. And after my first year of football, I said that I didn't want to play anymore. And um, my dad said it was too late. I'm already signed up. And the next year I was, so I've always played up with kids that are older than me. And this year they were only one year older than me. Um, so I became friends with everybody on the team, you know, and from from then on, it's just I've loved football more and more every single day. Right. Most definitely. And that and that let me tell you again, that definitely translates with your film. I can, <laughs> I, can I can tell the way you are looking off safeties, the um, your your mechanics, they're just they're just spot on. And that that love for the game really shows in, in uh, the all the little things that that guys, evaluators like me and, and um, coaches at the next level will look for. And, and that's that's pretty awesome. I commend you for that. Um, uh, just like I said, you check a lot of boxes when it comes to, to evaluating your game. What do you feel is your best attribute and why? Um, I think my best attribute would probably be being a leader. I mean, I think that I can throw the ball well and on spots if I need to, but like I said, I've always played up a level and I mean, we've we've gone to the Super Bowl twice. Um, wow. and I think everybody on our team is really good friends and really close and we have each other's back. And I think I would say I'm partially responsible for that. Especially up on, you know, a higher level for six years. Um, it's really helped me not only on the football team, but also like in school, just making friends. It's, it's a lot easier when you have the experience. Most definitely, and and, and the uh, I, I could imagine the camaraderie and 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 the guy the way you guys are in the in the uh, locker room and and it's that experience is, is that much more better because you you had the chance to to be around some guys that have that know a thing or two. Yeah. Um, playing at a, at a high level all the time must take a toll on your mind and your body. How do you balance academics with football and the rest and recovery process? So basically my mom has a rule that I can't go to football practice or do anything unless I have my homework done. So every single day, first thing I do when I get home, if I, you know, still have any homework is get my homework done and make sure I'm prepared for tests. And, you know, so far I think I've done pretty well. I've only gotten one B ever in my life, but, um, you know, it, it, I get tired sometimes from, from all that stuff, especially in the middle of football season, but it's never really been too much for me. Right, right, right. This is, uh, looks like this is what you were born to do. Uh, you know, I hope so. <laughs> um, can you tell us where you've perfected your, uh, your passing technique? Because it's, it's fluid, sure. man. That ball comes out of there yeah, quicker than, than I can process a thought. And I'm just in awe, man. So basically where I go is Je uh, Jeff Christian's throw deep. And I've been going there for about four years. And, you know, just something about the way he teaches that's different for everybody else. It's just like he pulls, he was a quarterback on the Denver Broncos when John Elway was there. Um, wow. You know, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And I think the difference between him and a lot of other people is it's just the natural way your arm is supposed to move, you know, when you're with your rope, with your rotator cuffs, so it's just a natural motion. And that's what he teaches everybody. And it, it works. I mean, right now he's coaching Pat Mahomes. So. <laughs> okay. So you, my coach. you, you've been coached up by uh, some pretty reputable folks. Yes. Um, what does it mean to you to be a team captain and how, how do you, how do you command the hunt? I mean, being voted. So we had our people on our team vote for who the captains are and being voted team captain is, you know, one of the biggest honors I think I've ever received because it shows my teammates really think of me as a leader on the team. Right. 
And, you know, just knowing that they have respect for me, especially being a younger person on the team. I mean, it just makes working as a as a complete unit and not as 11 different players. It, it's it's just incredible. Is um, is there any quarterback um, in the NCAA or the NFL? Um, uh, is there anybody else that you look up that that you could say maybe that you look up to uh, besides from Patrick Mahomes? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So one person, you know, I share a birthday with him is Tom Brady. Um, oh. you know, when I was when I was little, I used to really not like Tom Brady because yeah, I never have because <laughs> he, he, he used to win every single year. Yeah. And, but more recently, you know, learning his story at Michigan and all that stuff, I have a lot of respect for for somebody like him. And, you know, I try to be as fluid and as big of a leader as he is. Most definitely. Um, he, Tom, Tom Brady is, is, um, and, and like I said, I, I, I'm with you on the, the, you used to not like him because he won a lot. And um, I'm a Packers fan and he, and him and those Buccaneers kind of did his dirty in the NFC championship. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll leave that, we'll leave that for something else. Um, but yeah, honestly, he, it's consistency doing all the right things all the time. And, and it's, it's, it's good that you've picked up on that and have been um, implementing that in your life on and off the football field. That is, that is awesome. What advice do you have for other young quarterbacks that face adversity early? Whether and adversity being um, maybe an injury, um, maybe uh, they were playing with a, 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 a kind of a lackluster offensive line, maybe wide, wide outs that had butterfingers. Well, what I would say, I mean, right now I have a broken hand, so I've been out for you know three weeks. But what I would say is, you know. Right now, I mean, every single day, I still work out of my arm and make sure that I'm keeping the level that I'm at or improving. It's just um, eventually, you know, the right set of weapons will fall into your hands. You just got to be ready for when that happens, when your opportunity comes. You got to be more prepared than the next guy. Exactly, exactly. Um, Owen, can you tell us the best personal advice any coach has given you about about um, about you specifically and, and your play? Well, um, I w- you know I don't want to say cuss words, so I, so I just say slang the mother. <laughs> yeah, um, you, you can be yeah, yourself. I mean, <laughs> he, I mean, my coach Jeff Christian said when you when you get in the auto when you get in a big game just step in there and slang them ball yes. um yep. that's really what the key is it doesn't matter you know trying to guide the ball or anything you just got to get in there and be fluid and, <laughs> and work your magic as quarterback most definitely during the pandemic everything sports was delayed or outright canceled what did you do during this time to make sure that there was no slip in your game that was there was no drop off at all so i actually think the pandemic helped me a little bit so over the summer um and everything i probably f- over the summer, probably through every single day, if not more than once every day with my teammates, um, going to throw it deep, going, just finding field space that we could throw on every single day. We were just out there getting better because there's nothing else to do. Mm-hmm. I, I, um, I could imagine it. It was, uh, it was, it was kind of difficult at first. So did you guys, um, group like, kind of like, did you have like a small group of maybe, uh, uh, you and the wideouts, or you and two wideouts, a couple linemen, um, like a group of core guys that that maybe got together and worked out or hung out or something like that? Yeah. I mean, after a while, you know, playing video games got boring. Um, <laughs> so we had, to, we had to find something else to do. So every day for probably at least an hour a day, we would find a field space uh, as close as possible to us. And we just go out there for an hour and th- throw routes, throw deep balls, throw, you know, off platform stuff just to stay in shape because everybody on our team wants to play football as much as they possibly can. So Mm -hmm. if we had any opportunity to have it in spring season, which luckily now we're in the midst of, you know, we wanted to be ready for it. Right. And, and, uh, and, uh, ready, ready, ready. We're hoping that you, you guys are, um, what can we expect from Owen Lansu and the, the Downers Grove Panthers, um, next season or coming into the fall? Well, you know, to be honest, I'm not really sure because um, 
all of the kids on our team are moving into high school except for one. But, you know, I'll work with what I'm dealt. You know, I might have to become a little bit more of a runner at quarterback, which I'm because <laughs> I, I like to run the football. And, oh. uh, you know, I'm going to be playing with the kids that I go to school with every day, the kids I've been friends with for seven plus years. So I'm ex I'm excited to do that. Most definitely. That's a that's a tall task when you've been you've been playing with the same guys for for X amount of years and then a bunch of them leave and then it's like, oh man, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I can definitely feel for you, but, um, I know, I know, uh, the type of player you are, you definitely look up, look, uh, look forward to the opportunity. Um, what professional teams do you root for, uh, outside of the Chiefs? <laughs> well, you know, I'll root for the Chiefs against mm -hmm. anyone except the Bears. The Bears are my number one team. And I, I know you're a Packers fan, so that might. Oh. But the Bears, oh. no, the, the Bears are not as good as the Packers, so you don't have to be too worried. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate it. I, I figured, I assumed, you know, from you being from Downers Grove, I'm like, eh, well, I'll wait and wait and let. Him. We'll, we'll see if he, yeah. if he says. I mean, <laughs> I might, I might have to look for a new team after what the Bears have been doing this this off season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They um. It's 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 definitely a head scratcher up there. It's like they don't want um, they don't want uh, they don't want I don't, they don't they don't want the quarterback to succeed. I don't know what formula they followed the year that they got they were in the Super Bowl against um, Peyton Manning and his Colts, but yeah. maybe maybe they need to go go back to that. Just get that that rough and tough defense and and uh, get a game manager quarterback and 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 oh. just go about it that way. Yeah, I thought 2018 was going to be. The year that you know the Bears finally had their defense, and they and then they just lost to the Eagles. Oh, um, so. that 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 was that was a tough a tough year for those Bears, but um, they'll 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 get it together. Um, I think this year, if there's any failure with them, I think the fingers can be pointed at Matt Nagy. Um, yeah, you know we've we've you've seen you've seen the countless years of them not going to the playoffs, and and under under his um. Under his ruling, there hasn't really been much success. So, I don't know. Who who, who knows, man? Uh, all right. Thank you very much, Owen Lancey, for coming to the show. This is Forward Absolutely. to Talk. My name is Raheem Escalai. And, dude, uh, you're more than welcome to come back on the show whenever. All right. Thank you.